July 15, 2022. These are my babies. And we went to court today. And look how slow, like they, it's a, it's a hundred degrees in here. Today happened to be cooler, so it's still like 43 Celsius. And again, I can't understand, man. Everyone knows that I've been forced to live like this. This isn't living, this is surviving in here. Kitchen ain't even kitchen. Like over a year, it's in a lot. Living room in the living room. Rather than in the bathroom. And today the judge, after all this shit, man, we still, our first court appearance was November 22nd, 2021. That's eight months ago. It's eight months ago that I said, please fix these things, because we're dying. And look at my children, man, they are dying. I just made them chicken, they don't want to eat it. And now I have to record some shit. Like, dude, this is not, like, I'm dying, man. I feel like shit. Every day I feel like shit. And all my doctors and psychiatrists and psychologists and everyone know, they all know this is all I do. Every day is stress about this. And not just stress about it, not just deal with it, not just remediate it. Also, die from it. My babies are not well. Look at this one. Dude, James just fucking tried to bite me again. Moltox says, even the judge today, He's like, I understand, Mr. Angelini, why you, if you say that you're dying in all these single-spaced, three-page uh, letters, why you haven't done anything. Yo. Everyone misses the main no. point. I'm not dying because of the heat or lack of air conditioning. We're dying because of mold. Mold is deadly. Long-term exposure to toxic mold is deadly. Two. Two toxic black molds are found in here just from the landlord's superficial inspection on June 28, 2021. And mice, feces, urine, and everything else they might have. Also toxic. We have two toxic, seriously, severely toxic, depending on the conditions. How about the timeline? Yes, <laughs> the mold has been in here since before we moved in. So since day one, we've been dying from mold. That's two and a, what is it, two years, nine months. It's two years and nine months of living in mold. That is long-term exposure. Look at my baby, like, they lick their paws, that's mold toxicity. Okay, they scratch, that's mold toxicity. They won't eat proper, they can't hear proper, they can't see proper, they can't smell proper. I can't either. The judge says, why haven't you done this? You say you're dying? Dude. Because I'm dying, I, I didn't think to say, it's because I'm dying. That's all I had to say. It's because I'm dying. Like, dude, the mother, how did the motherfucker get away, get away with this? I had to take my babies for a walk because they can't handle this. Look at my baby. He doesn't even know who he is. Like, dude, this is, oh my God. He doesn't know who he is. No, like, dude. Okay, so let's talk positive. The judge issued an order today. Because the landlord's a cunt and just keeps fucking stalling and dodging and da 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 da. Landlord said she's over this shit, so she issued an order. Uh, so. So he has he has to fix all of these so it's it's most i don't know why there's not more mold ones so mice mice let's see let's all look at all the c's mice 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 Ooh, class b mold oh this is a good one Treat, trace and repair the source and abate the visible mold condition. North wall in the kitchen. First story. Then we got mice. Then we got mice. Then we got mice. That's only, only one mold. Whatever. All of these have to be fixed. This just got put into the system today. So now... They have to correct everything. And? So they have 14 days to do the mice. 
That's this class C. So it don't matter, because landlord knows. To do the mice, you gotta do the mold. And it does matter, because fuck, man, this fucking bullshit. Here's what it matters. They have to get us out of here. They have to get us a fucking place with a fucking kitchen near our doctors and veterinarians. They gotta do it right now. And this goddamn motherfucker still hasn't replaced the air conditioner. He's not going to do it. This is 44 days of approximately, call it an average of 103 degrees in here. On top of having to live without a kitchen, a bathroom, plastic over everything. Da -da -da. Look at my baby's dying. So we have to hold on. We got to hold strong. This is, everything's going to get fixed. We cannot be evicted. It's illegal to evict us. The only issue now is just getting the fuck out of here as fast as fucking possible. And it looks like he's going to, oh, this motherfucker, he's going to stretch it out. So we're going to give him options. Dude, look at this shit, man. Dude, if it wasn't for Janu and the dehumidifier and the other fucking air purifier from Shea and the other air purifier and the fucking six fans that we have, we'd be dead already. And we ain't finished yet. How the fuck can this motherfucker keep the air conditioner? He's keeping it. The main one. He's not giving it back. How can he do it? Because it's not an essential service. I called 311. It's not an essential service. The heat is an essential service. Air conditioning is not. So... This motherfucker, this sneaky motherfucker. And dude, during court? So I'm in court on the phone right here. Got everything in it. I'm standing right here walking. A fucking mouse. Even Stu, guarding, he's like, oh, you said there's a, you found out you saw a mouse during court. I'm like, yeah, it was right there. This place is, all we gotta do is get out of here. My babies are dying. The only way, and I told this to the whole fucking court after I found black mold in the basement. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, it's bad actually for everyone, although it will expedite everything. HPD man didn't come. It's okay. I have it documented so many different ways that it's stupid. This is an update for now. I gotta take my babies out, see if they'll eat. But an order has been issued. And according to Stu, if there's a violation, I haven't, I read it, but. Wait, what? Hang on. What? As to violations pertaining to concealed water leaks, which, yeah, so present proof to court of all steps taken to court. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, he's going to fix everything. Failure by the respondent. James McMath is a guide to correct violations within the periods required. They'll be in contempt. And me, as the respondent, shall not remove any doors, walls, partitions, appliances, fixtures, or essential services such as gas, electrical heat, or hot water, unless... Oh, wait, I'm the petitioner. Unless and until petitioner is evicted by a marshal. This order does not authorize anyone to evict, eject, or otherwise remove petitioners from president from premises. Okay. Class A, 90 days. Class B, 30 days. Class C. Mm, 21 days. Class C. Civil penalty, $250 per day per violation. I'm reading it. This court is an order pursuant to New York City Civil Court Act directing respondent owner and managing agent and managing agent to correct all the outstanding HPD violations for the subject premises as required by this order. So basically, yeah, they got to fix all this shit. And how to fix all this shit? And of course, landlords going for the fucking low-hanging fruit of like, what the fuck? 
plastered surfaces. He's gonna go for that. What else did he fucking throw out there, asshole? Unsafe wiring, 689. Okay, yeah, he's throwing that. Like, dude, he's just pretending like he wants to do this shit. So that's why today, tonight, on Friday night, once again, we go to work. This is, this is how we get $459,180,000. I feel this way right now. Good thing we're next to the pyramid of the sun. And this is my son. My, I gotta take my babies out. July 15, 2022.